Well, this video is called Death of an Old Friend. Well, this car has been around at the farm for like six years. It's definitely an old, old friend, and it's finally dead. Running perfect, but can't drive. As you saw in the previous video, it lost its steering on the path. The problem with cars in this country, especially these cars, is severe rust. 3.8s don't die, but sometimes olds do. Here we are looking at the frame below the wheel. This is called the subframe, the suspension and the engine sits on it. And there we're looking at a giant hole where it's supposed to go. There's no way to fix this because the body mount is rusted off the car and there's nothing within a foot of the body mount to even weld it back to. So when this happens, that universal joint up there attaches to the steering wheel. Well, it separates and you have no steering. Scary. The only thing holding this motor and drivetrain in is the two front bolts. So now that I've removed the radiator and disconnected some wires and hoses to get the whole drivetrain out of this car, all I do is remove the three top bolts on the struts, cut off these two rusty bolts with my torch, and kerplop. Everything's going to hit the ground. The mount on the right side has been broken for a couple of years. And finally, the one on the left side went last weekend. Boy, was that a royal pain in the ass. Managed to put some jacks underneath of it, jack up the middle of the body, and butt kick the doors and get them slammed shut so the body is straight so when I pick it up with the tractor it doesn't break in half. And since I plan on maybe using a drivetrain for a future project car, something unusual, I had to completely rip out the whole dashboard, steering column and everything, to get at the wiring harness. What a pain in the butt. All that engine spaghetti runs up underneath the windshield behind the dashboard. And I'll soon have to figure out how to rewire it all and make it work in a different vehicle. Sad sight, but just like a heart transplant, something will live again. And of course, the Regal got killed by a Saturn. So I've got another 3.8 dry train for future uses too. Just going to pull that one next. Just done cutting the nuts that were hanging down under the front of the subframe. Got the shock tower bolts out. I think she's ready to drop. Simple as that. Well, that's the end of the story. Now to get the gas tank out so I can save the fuel and fuel pump. Right buddy, one of the few cars at this place that actually has a new gas tank and not a redneck fuel system. Cool. Well, tanks a lot. And that's all she wrote, folks. Well, amazing that car ran so well on all that green gas I just dumped out of it. Well, it's still good enough to run a car out here, so I'll save it.